Let's write the formula, the chemical formula and the structural formula for isopropyl alcohol. This is a bit of an older name. In fact, if you were to buy this in a store, you would ask for isopropyl alcohol. It's used a lot to disinfect and clean. So if we just look at the name, we see this prop here. That tells us there's going to be three carbons. So let's draw three carbons. Next, because it says alcohol, we know there's going to be an OH group, functional group OH, which tells us it's an alcohol on one of the carbons. Because it says iso, which means the same, we kind of expect it would be on this central carbon here. So let's put that in there. So now we know that each carbon is going to be bonded to four things. So we'll put our single bonds in, and then we have one, two, three, four. These lines represent hydrogens. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So if you write the hydrogens in, this is the formula for isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is also called 2-propanol, and that's because we have one, two, three. On the second carbon, we have propane, that's the three. The O-L means it's an alcohol. That alcohol is on the second carbon, one, two, and there it is. The official IUPAC name is written like this, but it's the same thing. We have the propane one, two, three. On the second carbon here, we have the alcohol group. So if we want to write the chemical formula for isopropyl alcohol, we could just count these atoms up. We have one, two, three carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens, and just one oxygen. So you get a formula of C3H8O for isopropyl alcohol. But if you were given this formula, you probably could arrange it in different ways that wouldn't look like this. So sometimes it'll be written in a longer format, look like this. This is helpful because we have our CH3 here, then we have our CH and our OH here in the middle, and then we have a CH3 here again on the end. So by writing out this way, it's fairly definitive what the actual structure should be for the isopropyl alcohol. This is Dr. B with the structural and chemical formula for isopropyl alcohol. Thanks for watching.